Welcome back to Foulmouth Fishing, all you hookaholics. Uh, real quick, we got ourselves our 162 Elite um, in-store retail box for MTV. This is their in-store retail. You can go to the store right now and pick up a box. Each one's numbered. Uh, you more than likely, not guaranteed, but you more than likely, if you pick up a 162, you're going to get the same items that's in this box. Um, give or take the colors and maybe the weights. But uh, typically, 162s across the board are pretty practically practically <laughs> um, identical um, or similar. So uh, we're going to crack into this and, uh, and see what we got in 162 of our retail red uh, mystery tackle box. So like we said, um, we got our retail box here real quick. Uh, again, I hope all of you had a happy, healthy Halloween and you're not too sugared up from uh, all the candy you got. But uh, uh, big shout out again to uh, Slash Gills at the uh, Juggalo Fishing Posse, um, James, James Johnson over on Instagram, and uh, Abrupt Silence, excuse me, Abrupt Silence on Instagram, James Johnson in our community tab for correctly guessing or inferring um, basically what the name of the boat was going to be. Slash Gills had some great ideas, um, but James and, and Abrupt got the exact right, basically the exact right uh, title for the, uh, for the fish, uh, or for the fishing boat. So uh, our John boat has that name of Pennywise now, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to catching a lot of lunkers and, and fat bass and everything from crappie to twig tarpon. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure I'm going to bring a lot of branches aboard, but uh, we'll see. So here's our box. Again, these are skirt or, or sleeved in a red box, but they actually all come with these standard brown MTV boxes. You've got your catch co scale with your little things. You can catch a six inch panfish, 12 inch trout, which I should be doing right now is go out trout fishing. Um, get a 14 inch bass, a walleye of 16 inches or anything over 18. And uh, you can, Put on the keeper requirements for the contest, you add it to their social media, and you can win prizes like in-store discounts on shopcarls.com or uh, boxes, gifts, all kinds of swag. Um, with these, you are getting an what's in the box card. Uh, it doesn't give you a price, but it gives you a an idea that the items are there, which is really good because a, a while ago, last year, two years ago, there was a lot of these getting opened up in, in stores, in the retail store, and is strewn about. So uh, Catch Co., uh, one of the members of, of Mystery Tackle Box Shop Carls, they, uh, they actually were in one of my videos in the chat and uh, had a good back and forth with you all out there in the community and myself included chatting back and forth and explaining they have to do something to secure the boxes. In fact, some of these boxes I've noticed, mostly in the southern uh, retail um, Walmarts and what have you, they actually have a a tear, a pull apart uh, zipper style box cover. So once that's torn open, then you can get the box out. And it's an easy way for me as a consumer to recognize whether the box has been tampered with or not. So kudos to Shop Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box for adapting changes to their packaging to try to prevent theft or just the fact of losing a lure because somebody opened it up, looked at it, put everything back in and shoved it in there, but didn't necessarily put every item back in. You get home and you're missing one or two items. Uh, which is very common and easy to do, especially with small packs of hooks or weights or what have you that can get that can fall out of the package while somebody's rifling through it if they don't put it back together. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a mystery. I don't know why people just can't leave well enough alone. If you can afford the box and want the box, buy the box. If you can't, just leave it alone uh, for the next person who might want to pick that up, especially if they want to buy it as a gift for a child, a young angler, or what have you. Um, so here's our What's In card. So that's what's inside. Again, it doesn't list the prices, but it does list the items. That's a big difference between these and the mail order. Mail order gives you a price parameter so you can justify whether or not you're getting value for your, for your investment. Um, these you kind of have to go 
on a limb, a tree pounder limb. So that's our sticker for this box, the tree pounder. We've got one of these before in our uh, mail order version. That's pretty cool. That'll go into the stack of stickers that I'll be giving away with my giveaways. And we have two, four, six, eight, ten items in this box. So, so if you catch box 162, you should expect ten different items in the box. That's pretty cool. And one right off the top, I know, is a uh, actually got two lunker hunts. And this one off the top is actually a very high-priced item from Livingston Lures. Livingston Lures Howler DMC. So the Howler DMC Plus Dream Master Classic DMC. Uh, this is a Randy Howell um, design or influenced uh, crankbait. So you got a, a little crankbait here. This one is in Chartreuse Sunrise Shad is the color that they're giving it. It is, I want to say 2.6 inches, 5 eighths of an ounce, depth of 10 foot. So it's a mid-level diver to me. Um, I tend to just justify top water is your zero to one foot because wake baits I still put into top water. If you can buzz something just subsurface, I still consider that top water. So that, you know, four inch, one inch, six inches, that's all top water to me. When you get down to the one to five, six foot, that's my low, or my high water, you know, first water column, uh, surface lures. Um, and then I go from like that six, eight, 10, 12 is my mid column. And basically the 14, 16 down a 20 foot, 40 foot, that's my deep divers. And then of course, if you're in the 60 foot and below, I'm calling you a deep sea diver, then you're trolling. <laughs> but, uh, that's, uh, you know, that, that's just the way I configure my, uh, my waterways. That's how I look at it. Awesome color. Great for stained water. Um, great for clear water. Cause it's got that shad pattern too. If it's a dingy distance, uh, you can get, and it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it has noise, no rattles inside, but it does have the, uh, difference is clear smart chirp. So it doesn't have a rattle inside, but what this does possess is that little microchip in there that's going to give away that injured bait fish sound, that chirping, crickety kind of weird thing once it gets in the water and activates that microchip in the, in the inside of the bait. That's pretty cool. I know these are expensive, uh, just in store. I'm very happy to have something like that to add to my collection of many of these uh, robotic baits. Vexen, Vexen Verns Stone Roller. So Vexen, Vexen Verns Stone Roller. Okay, we got another crankbait. Uh, Bass Game Fish, uh, Verns Stone Roller. This is a deep series. This is in Colby's Bass Candy. Colby's Bass Candy. Half ounce, again, another 10 foot diver. So this is a more medium um, dive basic box with these 10 footers. I would have liked to seen like, you know, a two to four and a 10 uh, rather than just two deep 10 footers. My water, I do have 20 foot in the one reservoir that I fish. I have like eight to 16 in another one if I go way out. Uh, as a bank angler, these just do not work for, uh, for bank anglers. It's just too big a bill, too close to shore. Typically bank angling here, um, you're lucky if you can find a, a steep drop off within casting distance that drops to maybe six or seven feet. Um, most of the bank angling you're in distance is like two, you know, from zero on the shore bank down, it probably drops to about two, three feet, and then maybe five in a, in a low pitch. But then you have to really cast out there or have a boat to get out to the 10, 12 uh, foot range for this kind of stuff. But again, nice, healthy, natural color. That's really good for clear water. Um, Next up, lunk, two Lunker Hunts back-to-back. -back. So we have Lunker Hunts Popping Bug. We have these. We've had this in the past. I'll check and see if I've got the same color. Um, if I do have the exact same color, because I have a bunch of these, uh, I'll definitely add this to the giveaways. So it's a two and three-quarter inch half ounce top water. And the way this is rigged is it comes with an EWG, and you just fish it like you would a Texas rig. Go through the nose of the bait, turn it around, reposition it so that it's weightless on the back and you just pop this like a popper but with a single uh, EWG rather than the uh, the frog hook um, works really well 
The beauty about this bait is if you don't want to use the EWG, you can line through this with a treble hook. Um, I've, I've actually done that where I've taken a straw with my green one that was like a frog and uh, didn't have grass. I wasn't using it like a frog. I was using it in open water. Uh, but I, I took a straw like I do with a lot of other things, the air, air of um, cans, compressed air, poked it through the, the front and down through the belly, and then I put my line through, put a, um, a peg on it, tied off my treble hook, placed a peg on the top of the line, strung the line through the straw, put a peg on the bottom, tied off my treble hook. And this way, the, the hook could slide down, but not basically, you know, line through. It wouldn't slide off. Um, I wouldn't lose the lure. And then it ran up to my, my pole. And it worked pretty good. I, it didn't have the same popping action as being tied directly to the nose of the bait naturally. Um, but I was working it more as a walking, skittering bait across the top. And it, it was really a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool action comparative to what it was supposed to do. Um, I did have to watch because it wanted to roll a little bit uh, because it was more free, so it tried to roll a little bit. But I did catch two or three fish on it, so it worked for me. Um, it was something different, and I'm one of those people I like to experiment with stuff. And because this is a solid piece of foam, um, soft plastic bait, it's not really rigged or prepared in any specific way, though it does have the gash on the bottom for your hook recess for your EWG that it comes with. Um, because it's fresh and you are pre-rigging it, there's no holes or or tears in it to start with, it was cool to experiment my own little way d using different things. And like I said, that, that kind of worked out. Rare case as it was, it worked out. So that's cool. Oh, and the color on this one is the uh, timber. Timber. I'm pretty sure I have that, so that might show up in a giveaway box. Uh, the next ho uh, Lunker Hunt is the Custom Swim Combo. We've had these before, too. And I'm pretty sure... Uh-huh. Okay. So this is straight black. So quarter ounce skull swim heads in the black swim fish, three and a half inch. Uh, these are really cool. I suggest if you can pick these up, these are awesome. You, you got your whole kit, you got your swim jig head, and you've got your swimmer soft plastic, quarter ounce, and you can just take this little package and your fishing rod, and you can have a day of it uh, with these hooks and, and the soft plastics. It's ready to go, ready to rig. Awesome, awesome. I like seeing these things, especially if you want to give them to kids. They can lose a tail and still have another one, another one, another one. So it makes a day of fishing fun uh, without being an arduous task. That's pretty cool. All right. So next up is from Hoax Fish. Hoax Fish, we have some... Are these are Swebos. Hoax Fish, they call these the Chiseler. Chiseler. Oh, okay. I think I remember seeing these before, too. Let's see if they can open this up. Oh, yay! So this is the Chiseler. This is a ring style worm in green pumpkin black flake and then they've got this spade tail and a regular round bulbous head um, these are awesome awesome they're meaty and beefy really good for free rigging really good for texas rigging uh, these i've never done um, I, I i wouldn't suggest doing wacky i like more um mirror image um you know, bookend style baits for my wacky rig. With that one style is the tail on this side, you know, I, I just stick to Texas rig or on a swim jig or something like that, or, <clears throat> or like I said, uh, free rigging it or Carolina rigging it. That's pretty nifty. I like that. I like that they're beefy. They're, they're a large profile, really good for this time of year uh, during the fall transition. So I appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, we got five to go. Uh, Mustad, Ultra Point Hooks. So we got some hooks. We got some 5 watt size straight, sh well not straight shank. These are worm hooks. So they got the offset hook eye, but then it's a straight shank to the, to the hook bend. But uh, there we go. So we got some ultra point mustads. That's awesome. Never have too many of these. Um, Shop Carl's did a great little thing on, uh, I think it was on Facebook, or maybe it was on uh, Instagram or, or one of the venues, uh, talking about what you prefer. Uh, I chimed in on that. They had the four different hook styles. Uh, they did the standard worm hook. They did EWG. They did uh, the spear points, and they did the um, uh, what's the box one? I can't think of it. I'll put I'll put it up here. Um, but uh, trapper trapper hooks. See, don't have to put it up there. Trapper hooks. Uh, so they uh, they did the four different styles of hooks and what you'd prefer to use them on. Uh, 
so that was pretty cool. Obviously, that straight shank worm, really good for Texas rigging the uh, those uh, those hoax fish. Next up from Net Baits, we have the Net Baits Dagger. Net Baits Dagger. So this is a dagger watermelon candy, four and a half inch eight pack, and these. Oh, it's one of these deals. Oh, no, I can get it. I can get it. It is a creature style beaver bait, or beaver style creature bait, whichever you want to do. It's like French. Is it tu te fais comment ou comment tu You can go either way, right? So we have these beaver tails. They have these huge flanges. I actually have these uh, myself. I've used them quite a bit uh, for punching, especially. But these these appendages here catch water like anything, and these kill fish on the fall. I mean, they, they just annihilate this on the fall. Because those flanges slow the descent of this so well, um, especially in heavy cover situations, they are phenomenal as a, as a uh, on the fall fish catching bait. Net baits, dagger. So that's pretty cool. Watermelon candy. I don't think I have the watermelon candy color. So that's pretty cool to have too. All right. Uh, three to go. We have the net baits contour worm. So another one from net baits. All right, so these I definitely have got. These will probably go into the giveaway as well. Green Pumpkin Magic. This is the 4.75 inch contour worm. It's a little finessey worm. Uh, totally different than the uh, than the hot the um, excuse me the hoax fish. These are uh, hand pour style, so they're flat on one side and then poured on the other, and they're a tiny little finesse, but they have this really cool like I beam T. Style uh, flange on the bottom, but you can see they're they're flat on the top, round on the bottom, and uh, I don't know they're pretty cool. I like them. They're these are definitely like nose hook them on a drop shot, um, finesse them. It's probably pretty good for smallmouth. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I know for a fact because I've never caught smallmouth on these, but uh, I think they probably work pretty well. Um, Probably really good for stream fishing too with light tackle. So there's that. That's probably going to find its way into the giveaway as well. Uh, two to go. Smart bait. So we got another thing from Smart Baits. It's been a while since I've gotten a Smart Bait lure. Uh, color changing baits. And again, they, they don't list the colors. They don't list much of anything. Typically, these red ones go from like a chartreuse to either like a burgundy or. They'll go burgundy to white. This is like a green pumpkin with like an orange to it. So I'm going to say this is probably going to go chartreuse in the hot water. And then this natural green pumpkin black flake color at room temperature. So not bad. It's a nice solid worm. Uh, definitely put this away in my Smart Baits kit. I got a whole package just dedicated to Smart Baits lures. Uh, I keep them separate so that I don't confuse them because uh, I am forgetful. Uh, but yeah, Smart Baits Finesse Worms, that's pretty cool to have. I'm happy to get those into my collection. And finally, Castaic's Finesse CBT Stick Baits. So another Finesse Worm on the same vein as those, uh, as those daggers. If I can get this guy open. This also has a spear on the end, like the hoax fish. So this is like a Finesse version Look at the worm, not at my face. So it's got a dagger just like the hoax fish, but it's on a finesse worm. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And again, this is another green pumpkin color. So all these are pretty natural, uh, reminiscent colors. Great for spring, great for uh, summer and fall. Definitely like them. I do like also this nice ribbing design on the... Uh, on the body of these, they have a nice texture to them. That'll probably catch a lot of water and maybe even put off a little bit of a bubble trail. Uh, I know that those net baits, the daggers, they put off a hell of a bu bubble trail when they're, when they're on the fall. So uh, again, that's, that's great. So what do you think? That was 10 items, not bad for a box. Um, if you ever go to any of the stores, Dick's for example, and you have one of those coupons, you spend so much money and you get $10 off or what have you, these are the kinds of things that I suggest you do. You'll get a large quantity of baits, uh, you know, normally these are like 30 bucks, you can get it for 20 if you use a $10, $10 off coupon or what have you. Um, so that is a big bonus uh, for getting baits and stocking up or restocking on randomized things or trying something new that you may not, might not otherwise have tried. I think 
162 was a pretty good box. But it's not about what I think. It's about what you think. All you alcoholics out there, what do you think? Do you think this was worth the money? Is there any baits in here that I showed real quick that uh, you're interested in or that, that kind of caught your eye? Let me know. And uh, I love to communicate down in the chat below, as always. Uh, from me to you, y'all have a happy and healthy uh, new year coming up. Uh, happy Thanksgivings. Happy Christmases. Keep your, uh, keep your lines wet, lines tight. Be happy. And I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Okay? Peace, hookaholics.